Okay, I'm going to ask you, uh, Marcos, about how many families would benefit from this water project? Uh, Marcos, uh, ¿cuántas familias uh, han aprovechado de esta agua? Diez familias. Diez. Diez. Ten families would benefit from this water, and you know, possibly more when the word gets out, because. Water is going to be for everybody. This, this water is a blessing from God during these dry seasons. We build a system. I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be for everyone. Behind Marcos and I, you can see a small pool located a little downstream from the main spring. It is here that the Indian families will come and bathe and wash their clothes. Drinking water is gotten from the spring above and then carried in jugs back up the mountain by way of a long, steep trail. And here's another source of the water coming right out from under this rock. It's just bubbling up. Right here you can see the water. It's actually another spring that's feeding this little pool. All these loose rocks will have to be cleaned out and like a little concrete wall or dam built around this area and some kind of top put over it to protect it and keep out dirt and debris and to keep it clean. This is one of the families that would be benefiting from the water project that we're wanting to make. This is actually a brother of Marcos here on the right. And this is one of his children, and they live in this little log cabin here, fairly close to the water source. There's no electricity here, and there's no water, so this water would be of a great benefit for them. We are with another family that lives nearby that depends greatly on this water. The pools that you can see in front of the house collect rainwater. Originally, they were dug making adobe bricks. This water is used for watering their animals. For the people to have water pressure in their house, they've built a tower and put a big plastic tub to hold water and they use like a, a, a rope and a pulley to get the water out of these holes here nearby to put water in the tank and then they can let it gravity feed into their house. From what you have just seen here, you can see that water is a great necessity and people will go to great lengths just to get it. You can be a part of this ministry through prayers and love offerings. You might not be able to go yourself, but the seeds you sow into this work will help us to bring the physical water as well as the living water into these remote places.